Hi, this is Mr. Knowles, and this lesson is about combining egg carton fractions. In class, we've been using egg cartons to learn about fractions, uh, to compare fractions, to make equivalent fractions, and this lesson focuses on adding fractions. So uh, students should have this egg carton recording paper to watch along with this video to do their work. Let's get started. So number one, combining egg carton fractions. So on your paper, what I'd like you to do is write one half plus one fourth. And then I want you to fill your egg cartons up above with half and a fourth. So in the first egg carton, I have to figure out what a half of it is, so I'm going to do this. Sketch those uh, lines there to represent that I know what half. I broke that up into half, that egg carton. And I'm going to fill it in with six eggs because I know six eggs represents half of an egg carton. And I'd like you to do the same on your paper. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, the the other egg carton, I need to fill one fourth of that. So I'd like you to sketch lines and divide your egg carton picture into fourths. That's important that you do that. I need you to be able to do that. And then fill in one fourth. One fourth would look like that. So it'd be three eggs. And then I want you to combine them into one egg carton. So right now, there's three eggs in this one, and there's six eggs in this one. So the grand total is nine eggs. So I get to fill that up with nine eggs. And how many eggs are there? Well, there's nine. How many total eggs fill a carton? Well, that's 12. That's what the denominator is. So 1 half plus 1 fourth is equal to 9 twelfths. And the math is good there. That's really good. I want you to take it a step further, though, and Underneath your problem, just go ahead and rewrite 9 twelfths. Put your equal sign there. We'll put our addition sign here. And let's revisit how many eggs are in this first carton here. Well, there's six. So I'm just going to write six. And how many total eggs are in a carton again? That's right, there's 12. So I'm going to write six twelfths. And then let's look at the second egg carton now, right here. How many total eggs are in there? Well, there's three. And how many eggs make up the whole carton? Well, there's 12. So I'd like you to rewrite your fractions in twelfths. So all the denominators, and if you forgot what a denominator is, all your denominators in your addition problem of your fractions are the same. So then you have a 6 plus a 3 equals a 9, and all your denominators are the same. So mathematically, it makes a little more sense. I like to say that your fractions are speaking the same language. What I'm really trying to teach you to do is to begin to use equivalent fractions to add fractions when the denominators are not the same. So really that's what the focus of this is to get you to understand and move you towards that that skill. So let's look at a couple more. 
So number two. So on your paper, we're going to have one third plus one half equal sign. And we're going to do go through the same process. So we're going to break this up into thirds first. Thirds. Three equal parts. Three equal sections. And one third. I'm just going to fill in one of those equal sections. So one third looks like that. And half. Well, I did half before. So if I sketch these lines to represent the egg carton being cut into half, looks like that. And there's six eggs that make up half. And they get a different color. So six eggs make up half, and four eggs are in a third. And now I'm just going to add those two together. Put all the eggs in one carton. So that came from my third. And now I'm going to add the six other eggs. So all together, there's ten eggs from both cartons if I were to put them all together. And that's essentially adding. So I now have 10 twelfths. Well, I want you to take it a step further. Put 10 twelfths down here. Put that equal sign there. Put that addition sign here. And again, there's four eggs here. One third is also the same as four twelfths. So I want you to write four twelfths. And let's look at our second egg carton. And I want you to notice that there's six eggs in this one. Six eggs represents half of this egg carton. So I want you to write six twelfths down here. So now I have fractions with denominators that are all the same. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, the denominator is the bottom number and they all have a 12 down there. That's important in math. And what's nice is that the top number, 4 plus 6 is 10. Those match the number of eggs in your carton. So that should match your sketch. So your answer of 1 third plus 1 or 1 half is 10 twelfths. And down below, I want you to write the equivalent, fra equivalent fractions with like denominators that will also give you the answer. So 4 twelfths plus 6 twelfths is equal to 10 twelfths. Let's go on. Number 3. 1 fourth plus 1 third. So I'm going to write 1 fourth, 1 third. I'm actually going to do this in different colors now, and I'd like you to do the same. I think that will be a better visual representation of what I'm doing. So one fourth. Looks like this. I'm going to do one fourth. And then I'm going to do one third over here. So I've got to break this up into three equal parts, where each section has the same number of eggs. That's important. And one third looks like this. And I'd like you to have two different colors for your sketches now. I think that's going to be make things more clear. So one fourth, that's three eggs over there. So I'm going to put three eggs in there. And one third, that represents four eggs. That's in red. So I'm going to put four eggs 
over here. And my total, I just got to count them, is 7 twelfths, it looks like. So I want you to go back and look at how many eggs are there. There's three. And I want you to rewrite this as three twelfths plus how many eggs are here. There's four. So another way to say one third is four twelfths is equal to seven twelfths. I really like these two different colors here, and I want you to keep doing that. So please, after with number three and the rest of the problems, please have your two different colors for your to represent your two different fractions that you're adding from your egg cartons. This will be the last one we do together. Five twelfths plus one fourth. So five twelfths. plus one-fourth. Twelve, so I have to break this up into twelve equal parts. Well, the egg carton kind of already is in twelve equal parts, isn't it? But as your teacher, I want you to show me you know that. And the only way that you're going to show me is to draw a sketch. And then fill it in with 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That represents 5 twelfths. And the other egg carton in fourths. And 1 fourth would look like that. So there's three eggs and a fourth. And now I gotta put all those eggs together. So I'll start with one fourth this time. So that's three eggs. And then I have five eggs from the other egg carton. Five. I'll do it like that. And all together, that is eight. Better use a different colored pen. Eight twelfths. And again, down below, I want you to write any, uh, make sure that the denominators of the fractions are all the same. So, five twelfths, well, that's just five twelfths. How many fourths are equivalent to twelfths? Well, I just had to look at how many eggs are in the in the carton. There's three, so that would be three twelfths. So five twelfths plus three twelfths is equal to eight twelfths. I hope that makes sense. Okay. You need to do six more problems on your own. So what I'd like you to do is solve the following six problems on your egg carton recording paper and turn it in. These are your five problems right here. So go through the same process we just did together for the first four problems with these remaining six problems and please make sure you turn this in to me. I hope that is helpful to you and your family if you're doing this at home. If you have any questions, please ask. And if you practice, I guarantee you success. Keep practicing.